I was a junior at Kent State University. For some reason, I was feeling sad and crying, and I didn't understand why, and my hair was falling out. We went to the emergency department. That's when they told me I had a brain mass. Devastating. I mean, there's no other word to describe devastating, a mass. Of course, the first thing I thought of was cancer. I didn't even think people my age got cancer. Angie was a vibrant eighth grader. Uh, we lived in Cary, Illinois at the time. And she, you know, came home and complained about her arm hurting. I remember that night after the surgery, my mom and dad kind of freaking out and saying, this could be bad. She had cancer in her upper left arm. My very close cousin who died of osteosarcoma, and this happens 40 years ago. And uh, in the last 40 years, we really have not made a big of an impact in a disease. Can you imagine that? There are about 70,000 adolescent and young adults who are diagnosed with cancer each year. And the recognition that cancer can happen in this population is, is a challenge. The Case Comprehensive Cancer Center is an organization of all of the major academic centers in the city of Cleveland. We made a decision at the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center to put emphasis on the adolescent and young adult cancer program, both to bring new discoveries to patients and to do clinical testing in patients. We've been studying how the immune system uh, interacts with tumor. We can actually manipulate our immune system to fight cancer in the absence of using any, any other drugs. We know uh, from our trials in middle age and older adults that exercise really is medicine. One day I got a flyer in the mail for an exercise trial called Rainbow Riders. And I was like, oh, I could use some exercise, and I get paid. Gina was a delight to work with. She actually had an improvement of six milliliters per kilogram minute, which uh, is a fantastic 40% improvement. And I mean, I love it. I, don't, I didn't want to stop. I haven't felt this good since before cancer. Patients like Gina are an example of why a program and a focus like this is so valuable. It also inspires those of us who are developing those clinical trials to keep thinking of new ideas that may benefit our patients. I think the really important thing when you are confronted with something like this is to seek out research. My wife, Char, and Angie went to Houston, Texas. It was a difficult time for the family, dealing with the disease and also you know, dealing with a you know, mother around and sister. And after some trials of a few things and so on, uh, Angie passed away in June. When we visited, I, um, you know, when she was dying. It was just the oddest place, I thought. The hospital, it just, to me, in my eyes, it was just nothing like any kind of a, a child community or an adolescent community. I think that Angie's Institute is amazing because of the space for patients that allows them to feel connected to their family and friends and, and doesn't have to remind them constantly that they're ill. We've been very fortunate in Cleveland um, to be supported by Chuck and Shaw Fowler through their Fowler Family Foundation Fund to establish the NG Fowler AYA Cancer Institute is a game changer. One of the things we wanted to do was to create an environment where they could uh, coalesce, come together, share experiences, meet other people who are in their age group who are going through the same type of care. Adolescents, in their research, their bodies do react differently. So it is really time we pay attention to this group. For all of our patients, uh, our research efforts, our devotion to the science offers them something very tangible. That's hope. To offer that hope for um, our, our young people that have a whole life ahead of them, um, it is up to us to, to make it happen. And you know, we'll make it happen. Creating success around a, an area of research depends on the strength of the community focused on that problem. It's valuable for us to have partners like Teen Cancer America who are bringing attention to this problem. It's so hard for a person going through cancer, but knowing that there are people out there that are dedicating their lives every day to helping find a cause or donating money or anything, it's, it's what people like me need.